Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to y'all about how to utilize chat GPT for your Etsy shop. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you haven't already, join on up to the Facebook group where we are creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income with digital downloads. For those of you that have been following me, um, I've been dabbling in a lot of like text to image AI, but text to text AI is becoming a little bit more prominent. Now, I will give y'all a disclaimer and say that Google will lower your authority ranking if they detect that you are utilizing AI on things like blog posts, but to utilize it for new ideas, descriptions, titles, and tags really isn't going to hurt anybody. So that is what we're going to go through today. Today we're going to go through how to utilize chat GPT for titles, tags, descriptions, and new ideas for your Etsy shop. So whether you're selling digital products or print on demand or things of that nature, you will be able to utilize these tactics to help you in your journey. With all that being said, I'm gonna hop over to my computer screen and we will get started. Okay, so to get to chat GPT, you have to go to chat.openai.com slash chat. Keep in mind, there is a very large volume of people utilizing this service since it is free and therefore you may not be able to get in. But fret not, just enter in your email address and they will alert you when this is available for you to utilize. So this is what the screen looks like when you are on the program. I'm just gonna zoom in so y'all can see this a little bit better. And to start off, we're actually going to start off with title generation. So to do that, I'm gonna take this SVG link here and I'm going to type it into ChatGPT. And I'm simply going to put in create an Etsy SEO optimized listing title for the URL with that listing. So this says Father's Day gift, grilling SVG, body by bacon, funny barbecue design, printable digital download. Pretty good, right? So my original title is body by bacon SVG, grilling SVG, Father's Day SVG, and they've definitely change that around. So I could easily type in generate five more and chat GPT will generate five more titles for this particular URL. Now, what you can do with these titles is you can utilize some of these target words and you can move them around. But let's just say that you have something that you created and you have not generated a URL yet for it, or you haven't generated a listing. You would just do something very similar. So for this particular one, I said, create an Etsy SEO optimized title for an SVG that states, I'm not single, I'm romantically challenged in pink letters. And again, you can generate five more or however many you want. So you can see here that the pink doesn't really hold a ton of weight, which is absolutely fine, but it does come up with some pretty good titles for Etsy that you can utilize. So that is just a very quick and simple way that you can utilize ChatGPT for previous listings that you may wanna tweak the SEO on or for listings that you currently are designing. So with that being said, the next thing that I wanna talk about since in the progression of writing your Etsy listing would be the Etsy description. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these same two examples and we're going to input the information into ChatGPT, however, it's going to be in a different way. So again, I'm gonna open up a new chat and then I'm gonna type in my keywords, create an Etsy SEO optimized listing description for the URL, and you can see that it spit out this really nice first paragraph. Get ready to grill in style with our body by bacon SVG design, perfect for Father's Day, a birthday gift, or just to show off your love of cooking. This design is great for any barbecue enthusiasts. Compatible with Cricut, Silhouette, and other cutting machines, this design is easy to use and will make a great addition to any grilling theme project. So fire up the grill and show off your love for bacon with this unique and fun design available for instant download on Etsy now. I would simply just take something like that, copy and paste it and put it at the beginning of the description box and boom, there you have it right at the beginning there. Remember, we also had them generate five more. So if you weren't satisfied with this, you can either generate another one or you can come up here and click on this little pencil icon and you can edit this how you see fit and then click on save and submit and it will rerun it, okay? Or you can just type something, um, down below. Keep in mind if you edit this, it's going to more than likely get rid of this. And there are some bugs with ChatGPT right now due to the high demand. So you wanna make sure whatever you do generate, you save because all of my previous conversations are not available right now. We're gonna go through the same process that we did with the romantically challenged, but instead we're gonna cr say, create an SEO optimized description. And for some reason they added in this weird sentence at the bottom. I'm not a fan of that. So I'm actually going to rerun it. And interesting enough, it does blast some keywords at the end of there when you're not using a specific URL. So definitely play around with that. 
just a really quick way for you to write a very quick optimized description to put in the beginning of your listing. Not something that I have really utilized too much because I do have a buttload of listings in my shop. However, it is definitely something that I'll be looking to do as I move into creating new designs. The next thing that I wanna talk about is how to utilize this for tags. So you can also utilize this for tags. Now, it to me is much easier to utilize for tags for something that is already generated and out and listed on Etsy. However, you can do it for ideas as well. So with that being said, I'm gonna head back over to my computer screen and we'll do some tag generation. Okay, so they did repeat SVG quite a bit. Now, remember when we talk about titles and tags, you don't have to repeat tags. So if you put SVG in the title or the tag, Etsy already knows that your listing is an SVG. You could put it in there a few more times, but you really don't wanna continually repeat because you're just gonna be wasting tag space. This tool is definitely something you want to play around with, but what it will do is it will give you different keyword ideas that you may not have thought of before. In this case, grilling SVG, Father's Day SVG, bacon, body by bacon, most of these things are in the titles that we generated. Bar barbecue, grilling, bacon, barbecue, meat lover, uh, Father's Day crafts, grilling decor might actually be a good one, and meat cutting SVG might be a good one as well. You could generate more. Apron would be a good one, barbecue party, grilling party, grilling meat, bacon graphic, barbecue grill. Basically, you can run a bunch of these through, and then you could cross check them in E-Rank. So it doesn't look too bad competition wise. The average, average click through rate is 91% and the searches are pretty low, but you can see it upticks in June right around Father's Day. If I type in barbecue clip art, it comes up with a bunch of different things because there's not a lot of keywords related to this. A barbecue cutting board comes up. You could easily put that on a cutting board, body by bacon. You would just scroll through and see if there's anything that kind of works out for you. It is a bit of a process, but it's definitely something that you can utilize to your advantage. So now that we've done it on URL, let's do it for something that we have not created a listing for. So I generated the first 13. I'm saying generate more, and it is giving me some more ideas that I can utilize. Single and proud is one that I didn't think of before. Single life humor. So definitely a lot of different keywords here that you could utilize for your particular listing before you even list the dang thing. It's just something that can definitely give you some form of inspiration or help if you're trying to fill that tag space with other words that you may not have thought of before. Pretty interesting so far, we've gone through titles, we've gone through descriptions, and now we've gone through tags. One thing that I want to highlight at the end of this video, and I'll be making some more videos about this in the future that are separate from this, is that you can utilize ChatGPT to help you generate new slogan ideas for your designs. This is super helpful if you are in the print on demand space, but it's also helpful if you're trying to create a bundle of like, I don't know, let's just say coffee shirts, okay? So I'm gonna head over to my computer screen and show y'all what that's all about. Again, we're just gonna type in new chat. Now keep in mind, every time you click on new chat and you move from the chat that you're in, ChatGPT is gonna save that. Again, I'll point out the fact that since they are in a very heavy traffic time, all of my old chats are not available. I'm just going to click on new chat and type out the text that I'm trying to get for new ideas. I'm not a morning person. I'm a coffee person. Let's see if that comes up. So I'm going to go on Redbubble and I'm going to go on Etsy again and I'm just going to copy and paste this in here and see if any of this comes up. So 237 results for I'm not a morning person. I'm a coffee person but none of these are very specific to that particular saying. I just gave you guys something to design towards. I'm only a morning person on Christmas. This is I'm not a morning person, I'm a coffee person, but it's not an SVG, so let me just do that, SVG. 961 does results. Here's one here, but this is definitely a shirt design. These are all physical products. I'm not a morning or a night person, I'm a food person. Okay, so there you go. That particular design is a variation design because you could easily say, I'm not a morning person, I'm a food person. I'm not a morning person. I'm a coffee person. I'm a tea person. I'm a wine person. If you're drinking wine at you know 6 a.m., whatever. I'm a pothead person. Not that I condone that, but you know, I'm a cat person. I'm a dog person. It has variations. You're not a morning person. You're a blank person. We love variations. Anytime that you find a variation slogan, go with it, create a bundle of products with that variation, and then post the singles. Because the singles will sell, and the bundles will generally sell for people who are creating a lot of products for a lot of different people. I'm surprised that we found one like that like right off the 
the jump. So I need coffee before I can deal with this level of stupid. 75 results, are you serious? Y'all, I just found you some really gold. I found you some gold here. I found y'all some freaking gold. 992 results. None of these are specific to that particular quote. Two, right off the jump that I just did a quick search for that you could easily bundle. I do bundles anywhere between six to 10 designs, but these are two that you could definitely use. Generate five more. This one's actually hilarious, y'all. Coffee, the silent scream in a cup, because guess what? When you're drinking your coffee, you can't speak and you can't scream. Dude, these are, I'm la like laughing. Yeah, I mean, you got nothing here. Oh my gosh, 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 gosh. Chat GPT, I'm gonna write some of these down. If y'all aren't designing for them, I am. These are all really good. So you could keep going through here and generate five more until you get to your six to 10 threshold. And then what you would do is you would sit down and you would crank out those six to 10 designs. Then you would go post those up on Etsy or design bundles, singles. And then you would take those singles and you would go post those as bundles. But here's the thing with ChatGPT that I really like to do is instead of saying generate five funny t-shirt designs about coffee, pair it with something else. Let me do a new chat and I'm gonna say generate five funny t-shirt ideas for people who love dogs and love coffee. So I run on coffee and dog hair, I think is something that I've seen before. 968 results, but I don't see that I run on caffeine, dog hair, and cuss words. So they're using the cuss words there. But you don't have to necessarily use, not a lot of people cuss. Maybe people just run on coffee and dog hair. So this would be a shorter, shorter one without the cuss words. And um, it probably would work because there's really not a lot of results anyways, less than a thousand. I'd say that's a good one. Dog hair is my glitter. Coffee is my glue. Nothing on Redbubble. Nothing on Etsy. Y'all, that's a winner right there. You're not going to come up with these bang up ideas every single time. But if you get just like that one golden one, even if it's just one single design, you don't have to feel pressured to post a bundle. If your shop is pretty generalized, which my first shop is, it's pretty generalized. It's really sarcastic, bold, text-based with some small, you know, embellishments around it, designs. It's, there's not anything crazy to it. Quotes like this are just absolutely freaking perfect. What have we gone over? We've gone over how to use chat GPT for titles, descriptions, tags, and now, how to find new ideas to design towards. So it's a very powerful tool, okay? You definitely want to cross check the ideas that you create with tests or any copyright or trademark issues, run them through Google. Make sure they're not quotes from movies or TV or anything like that. You definitely wanna make sure you're double checking yourself and let me know how it goes for you. Let me know if you can get in or can't get in because I know a lot of people are having issues, but a new very powerful tool that you can utilize to help boost and streamline your Etsy productivity if you got something out of this video, please like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you're feeling really froggy, you can hit that super thanks down below and throw a couple bucks my way so I can buy myself a cup of coffee tomorrow morning on my way to work. If you all need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. Shooting Star SVG, signing out.